In this video, I am going to present a revolutionary technique of CCC retrieval from the zonules. CCC is one of the most important steps of echoemulsification. An incomplete or a non-continuous CCC may result in the extension of tear towards the posterior capsule during phacoemulsification. In cases where the CCC is extended, the surgeon may have to decide to convert to an extracapsular cataract extraction or a small incision cataract surgery. Little's technique by Brian Little has been described to rescue the CCC in cases where the tear is going out. In Little's technique, after filling the chamber completely with a viscoelastic, the flap is unfolded and then grasped near the root of the tear. It is then pulled backwards to redirect the tear centrally. However, in the more extensive cases where the rexis has extended to the zonules, little technique is not of much use. In such cases, surgeon has an option of completing the capsulotomy from the opposite direction. However, such a rexus is a weak rexus and it can lead to potential complications during the phacoemulsification. So we demonstrate the quick pull technique described for the cases of peripheral radial tears. The flap is pulled with a quick traction in the direction of the center of the pupil which redirects the tear centrally. In the first case, the CCC has already extended to the zonules. So we fill the chamber with a viscoelastic introduce the microcapsular axis forceps from the opposite end. This is for the optimal angle of approach to apply traction. After holding the flap, a quick pull is given to the capsule which is directed to the center of the pupil. This movement forces the capsular axis back to continuous curvilinear shape. Again showing the movement in slow motion for better understanding. In the second case, after the rexis extends to the zonules, initial attempts to retrieve it are unsuccessful. So again, the microcapsular axis forceps is introduced from the opposite side and a quick pull is given to the anterior flap directed to the center of the pupil. This helps in retrieving the capsule. The rexis is then completed from the main port. In the third case, the surgeon has started the rexis normally, but as we can see, the rexis extends to the periphery and it extends to the zonules. The initial attempts to rescue the rexis are unsuccessful.
However, a microcapsular access forceps from the opposite end and a quick pull technique help in retrieving the capsular access. In most cases, single piece IOL can be implanted in the bag, but if the CCC is very large, three piece IOL can be put in the sulcus. This technique has especially been found useful in phaco emulsification and it has decreased our conversion rate of phaco to SICS in training cases significantly.